One year ago, I had my worst mountain bike accident ever. We were riding Baker Creek in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I went over the bars on a jump. You haven't taken your helmet off yet. Can you try to take that off? <laughs> I hate to say I'm a bad influence. The last two times you got hurt, I've been there. You ready? Too easy. Yeah, you took one right to the side of the head for sure. Shit. <laughs> you look like shit. Look, how is the emergency entrance and elevator? Oh. A lot of pain. And one trip to the emergency room later, we discovered that I had actually suffered a stage five AC joint shoulder separation. which would require surgery and six months of recovery. Closer together than it was before. Yeah. Don't tell them where we're taking them. This is sick. Wow. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat, bitch. All right. This is underneath right here. <laughs> the lower deck. Wow. Damn, dog. We are living in luxury. Yeah, for sure. Tonight. Yeah, yeah isn't that sick? So sick. Ow, ow, ow. This, this is your room. Is... Captain, call me Captain. Captain, <laughs> Captain, my yes. Captain. This is my room? Wow, appropriately sized. Like, this yeah. is like luxurious for someone a hobbit size. Like, got me done. Wow. Dan Dad's room. Dan Dad's room. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going in. Shitter. Oh, nice. They got a shitter. Yeah, a little shower. Sweet, sweet. A little shitter. Jeez, this is crazy. And it's home for the next. Why are we leaving again? <laughs> Ahoy! Ahoy, mate. Stop playing with your dinghy. <laughs> hey, I gotta walk then film. Getting settled in my room here. Gotta admit, it's pretty. Pretty awesome digs for the night. And tomorrow we're waking up and we're going back to the scene of the crime. It's been a year since my accident. Tomorrow we're heading back to Baker Creek, back to where I destroyed my shoulder. Gonna get some redemption, gonna overcome those demons. First, I'm on a boat. <laughs> So I guess the thing is, is that I am nervous to go back to this place, but at the end of the day, it's just a place, just like any other place we'd ride. I just happen to have bad memories here and a history here. And uh, yeah, 
<clears throat> it's really no big deal. It'll be fine. Just gotta get back out there and get on that horse. like a festive scene out here Tan Daddy. What is yeah, going on? Did we miss the invite for a party? It's the weirdest thing. It's like after hurting myself then getting back on the bike I've mostly been riding at Canuga Bike Park back home and now when I go somewhere new or <laughs> different have you ever seen a pump track like this? It doesn't feel safe. So yeah I was nervous. Man, look at this. This is, this is rad. Have you seen this yet? Uh, no, not with my own two eyeballs. No, I remember yet. when they were building it. Wow. This place is a sight to behold. All right, you ready? Uh oh. Uh. Drap it. Put the place up. Put the face up. After sessioning the sickest pump track I've ever been on, me and Tan Daddy finally decided to make our way up the mountain and track down the jump that nearly ended my mountain bike YouTube career. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are back at the scene of the crime. How you feeling? Uh, well, we knew this day would come, didn't we? Stage five AC separation, six months off the bike. It sucks. If I were to sit here and pretend like I'm not thinking about those things, I'd be lying. But yeah, no, not nervous at all. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I'm gonna just watch what you do, and then I'm gonna mimic that exactly. Watch me whip. Watch me follow Nene. Be smooth. No whipping. Be smooth. smooth. I'll probably whip. <laughs> I probably will be whipping. Here we go. Redemption lap down barn burner. This is a year in the making. And here we are, we're back. Strapping.
<laughs> feeling good? Uh, I am. I... Well, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. It, it was fun. This is a sick trail. I, I don't know why we don't ride this trail more. Oh yeah, I got fucked up on it. <laughs> Yeah, that one. This is it right here. Yep. That was it. That was it. Yep. All right, here we are where it all went down. Yeah. So I came in and I didn't have a lot of speed and I just thought, oh, I could just boost it. Yeah. So yeah, as I'm coming in, not enough speed. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I pumped with really poor form. I think my back tire got hung up, catapulted over the bars. And then I land shoulder first right here. I got thrown over the handlebar so violently that I was just in shock. Yeah, yeah. That that had happened. For sure, and yeah. It just embraced my fate at that point because I, I just couldn't believe what was happening to me. And yeah, I went shoulder first into the ground and then the bike landed on me. You ever had the air knocked out of you? Gasping? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're just... <laughs> like a word somehow comes out yeah. in the moment too. It was like right when I hit it, it was like, it's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, what made you want to put Bumbo's shoes on? Well, the fact that he can't put them on himself. <laughs> I like that you're gonna go into the ER with a chest protector. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got some money for snacks too. Are you already, are you already eating? I'm hungry, as I'm a fat man. I knew my shoulder was so fucked. And uh, I was here with Paul the Punter, Steady Spin. And uh, yeah, they peeled me off the ground like a pancake. And it took quite a while. We're at the bottom of the trail. It took quite a while to get me out of the trail. Yeah. So I'm gonna give this jump a go, but I'm gonna follow Tan Daddy. Right. Yeah, exactly. He's got he's got the line. Let's do it. All right. So no promises. I'm not gonna sky it, but I am gonna give it a go. Drop it. Remember, just go right right side. Don't hit that pad. All right. I'm gonna follow you. And I'm gonna be smooth. That's it. I did, that was sick. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and chalk this up to success. Good ass. Yeah. yeah, felt good over it though. We were uh, going that, it was hard to get speed through that. It was hard to get speed, yeah. But honestly, uh, doing it that one time was like, oh, I could totally clear this. Yeah. Uh, coming off from the right side did make all the difference. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Sick. Cool. cool. Let's, uh, let's get the out of here. Yeah. <laughs> get hungry. People always warned me that I would hurt myself bad one day. And I've always heard getting back on the bike after something like that was a difficult thing to do. Boy, do I understand that concept now. But you can't live your life in fear. I mean, you could fall off the trail tomorrow and land on a stick and die, but I'm not gonna stop mountain biking for fear of sticks. So yeah, getting back to riding crazy shit all the time has been challenging. But since getting back on the bike, I went from this to this. So if you were going through similar troubles, I assure you, it only gets easier with time. It feels so good to be back on the bike, but I am a changed man. In fact, I will never be the same. I'll always remember what happened to me. But now I have a greater appreciation for being able to ride my bike in general. I'm sure a wreck will happen again because life is not without risk. So thanks for sticking with me through these difficult times. And if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Come along with us on the next chapter in my journey. You've been biking with Bobo.